Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to log in via SSH to your DigitalOcean droplet without a password. And the way we're going to do this is with something called an SSH key. So let me show you how to do this. All right, so I'm here in my DigitalOcean dashboard, and what I'm going to do is to create a new droplet, and it really does not matter what type of droplet we're creating here. I'm um, just going to do the $12 per month Intel. Uh, droplet, right? So, um, but the, the part that we're interested in is down here under the authentication section. There's typically two ways that you can authenticate with a droplet, meaning the how, how are we going to log into the droplet? Are we going to type in a password, which is this option here? You can create a password. That's probably what you're used to. Or you can create an SSH key that's going to live on your computer. It's going to be a public private key pair. Um, and you're going to basically tell DigitalOcean about the public key so that when it goes and, you know, does all that cryptography behind the scenes and matches the public key with the private key, uh, then you are authenticated without even having to do anything because your public key, private key acts like a token. And um, as long as you're on your computer, then you can access your droplet. So let's go ahead and set that up. I'm going to click on new SSH key here and it pretty much walks you through it. Uh, it's gonna be different for Windows users and there's instructions specifically for them right here. But if you're on a Mac or a Linux computer, then um, uh, that's what this specific tutorial that you're watching is gonna show you how to do. So what, what we basically do is execute the SSH keygen command, uh, get some type of key output, and then put that key output in, this, in the DigitalOcean dashboard. So that's saved to your account. Um, and then anytime you create a new droplet, that's going to be associated with a droplet. So if that doesn't make sense. Let's go through it step by step. I'm going to open up a terminal window here and we're going to type in SSH keygen. And that's going to say generating public private key RSA key pair. So the file that's going to save the key is at this location. This is a hidden directory dot SSH. And then the file name is going to be ID RSA. So that's fine. We'll keep the default there. Enter passphrase. Um, you, you may or may not want to do this. Uh, it's more secure if you do that, but for the sake of this example, I'm not going to do a passphrase. Same passphrase again, hit enter. And now our key has been generated. So here is our public key at this location. Now we can copy that and uh, we're going to use the uh, cat command to look at the contents of that file. So cat and then that path dot ssh idrsa dot pub hit enter. And this is what my public key looks like. So I'm gonna pretty much copy this entire thing, minimize this and paste that right into there. I'm gonna call this, you can call it whatever you want. I'm gonna call mine MacBook Pro and I'm gonna add that SSH key to my DigitalOcean account. Now, the one thing that uh, I mentioned also is that there's a public and a private key. So that is my public key. My private key is right here. Okay, so this is something that you never want to show anybody. You always just, you just want to keep it on your computer. Don't don't copy and paste that one up to DigitalOcean. The one that you only want to share is the public key, public key, not the private key. So we won't look at that. Uh, we will look at this one. Okay, so that key has been added to our DigitalOcean account, and now we can either associate that with the droplet or not. So I'm going to do that because that's what the tutorial is about and then we're gonna create this droplet. So that's gonna go ahead and instantiate the droplet. It takes 20 seconds, so we'll fast forward through that. Okay, and that droplet has been created with this IP address right here. So I will copy that, and here is where the magic happens. So now we can go ahead and SSH into this droplet with SSH root at the IP address. And typically at this point, you would be prompted for a password, but because we have the, uh, the SSH key associated with this droplet, we won't have to do that and we'll just be logged directly into our Ubuntu server. So let's go ahead and try it out. Hit enter, uh, first time only, They'll, it'll ask you about trusting the connection. You can go ahead and type yes in Bam, we are in Ubuntu. This is uh, our Ubuntu droplet with the one CPU core, two gigabytes of RAM in the New York City data center. So we'll exit out of that. And just for another test, let's go ahead and SSH in. No user interaction here, no password typing. We're back into the Ubuntu server. Now this, any future droplets that you create, you can associate that same SSH key with. So uh, we can come create a droplet 
and from this point forward you will always have that option unless you delete it from your account to log in via SSH with that public key that you created. So if you want to learn more about SSH or DigitalOcean, I have a whole bunch of other videos on my channel about that. So I recommend that you check those out. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this for me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.